I mean, this is, I think, the only show around that does this. You know, we see plenty of programs about moving abroad, buying property, but this, you're road testing a whole new life. You know, it isn't just about getting a home, it's about the lifestyle. Can you afford it? The work opportunities. Will you have a better way of life? And they, ha they have that chance, that one week. I mean, a lot, sometimes they stay longer, but we're with them for a week and we show them everything. You know, we give them an idea of what their salary would be like, what the local school would be like, will they fit into the community, are they going to struggle, where can they afford to live? And often that's the harsh reality. You have this dream, you want a better life, and then you go out there and you realise it could be quite tough. This is so much better than a park would be in the UK, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. I mean, they try, but they don't ever have anything like this, do they? We just don't have the weather for it, do we? Lou is taking Aussie living in his stride. He's just loving the Australian lifestyle and it's just so... Uh, it's, oh, I'm in awe of it. I just... I love it. Seeing how much fun Lou is having takes Kirsty back to her previous trips down under. These are the kind of memories I had of my childhood, and this is the kind of memories I want Louie to have. I just want, um, I just want better for Louie. Yeah, we both do. How involved do you get in there? in their real deliberations. Because I know the programme's a very... It's, it's a friendly programme. Yes. But this is very emotional. I can imagine people actually have... Well, let's be honest, they probably have rows, don't they? they I mean, do. if someone wants to do something, someone else doesn't, and it's such a big decision, it would... I mean, yeah. you could imagine things getting quite difficult, genuinely difficult. It does. We see people that are fixated about going over there. They're convinced this is going to be the answer to all their prayers. I mean, and also, we're not going to take them out unless they're sort of visa applicants, unless they can actually get a job in Australia or New Zealand. This isn't a holiday, this is about changing their lives. So they become fixated and like, but they go out and they think, it's going to work, whatever happens, I'm going to make sure it works. And then they suddenly uh, have this sort of list of expenses that we give them. We do a cost breakdown of the actual living costs of there. And they suddenly look at it and they think, we're going to be £150 a month worse off just on food alone. You know, that's a lot of money. And then the grim reality kicks in. Or you get it the other way. You'll get a partner that doesn't want to go at all. And then they see it for the first time with fresh eyes and they're completely sold.